Welcome students. I welcome all of you to the second revision session. So you must have understood the little bit uh, revision part, which whatever we have learnt in the last session. And uh, one more thing, you must have understood the type of the objective questions which are going to be there in your mock test as well as in your unit test exam. Okay. So now let's uh, see once again whatever uh, revision part we can do in today's session. Okay, so now let's see one by one what we can do today. So as you know that student, there are many type of the animal who consume food as a plant directly. Correct. So the animal who eats plants directly as the food material, we call such animals what herbivorous animals. So what are the herbivorous animals, students? Can you guess the name of the herbivorous animal who only eat plants? and who do not eat any type of the other animal any guesses yes you can see here in the diagram you can see the deer then rabbit is the herbivorous elephant is the herbivorous animal am i right grasshopper is the herbivorous animal uh, is there any else uh, other animal who are herbivorous you can list up the name of the herbivorous animal in your notebook so that uh, it will be easier for you to make the list of the herbivorous animal. Okay, so can you repeat the definition of herbivorous once again? The animals who eat plant as the food material, we call such animals as what? Herbivorous animal. Understood? And again, on the other hand, there are many type of the animal who eat other animals as the food material. These animals do not consume plants. These animals directly attack on the small animals as for the food material purpose. So such animals, we call them as what? Carnivorous animals. What we call them as? Carnivorous. So what are the carnivorous animals? Like you can say that tiger, then lion, then leopard, eagle, snake. There are many type of the animal who comes under the carnivorous category so make the list of the carnivorous animals as well so to the herbivorous animal and to the carnivorous animal who is providing the food material yeah directly and indirectly for the whole ecosystem for the whole environment to the whole living thing which are present in the environment directly the food is supplied by one and only one plants so the plants are supplying the food material to everybody and plants are preparing their own food material for themselves. So as plants can prepare their own food, we call them as what? Autotroph. What we call them as? Autotroph. So who are autotroph? Plants are autotroph because they can prepare their own food. How plants prepare their own food? Plants prepare their own food with the help of what? Photosynthesis. So what they can do during the photosynthesis students? What plants use during the photosynthesis? Plants use carbon dioxide and plants use water. So with the help of carbon dioxide and with the help of the water, plants prepare their own food. Are you getting my point? So plants use carbon dioxide, plants use water to prepare their own food in the presence of mostly what? Sunlight. So the sunlight is very important for photosynthesis process and in return for during the process of photosynthesis plants release oxygen and this oxygen is very important for respiration process. This oxygen is very important for breathing process. Am I right? So the plants are releasing oxygen for the process of what? Respiration. Understood now students? So that's why we can say that plants are main support of the food chain. Plants are important food of the food chain because directly and indirectly they are the food supporter to each and every living thing in an environment. Okay. Now students, look at this picture. What you can see here in this picture student? Yeah, you can see that there is uh, several links uh, which are interlocked uh, in the chain format. Am I right? So you can see the chain format here. So suppose student, if the links are separated from each other, could they be called a chain? No, we cannot call them chain, although they are rectangular, one single single part. 
so although they are complete object if we separate them then we can't call them chain why we call them chain just because that that separate boxes we join them okay so that's why we call them as what chain so if any link comes loose the chain will be broken permanently am i right exactly like this chain students there are many variety of the chains which are available in the nature so what type of chain exactly i'm talking about right now over here i'm talking about the type of the chain not the metal chain i'm talking about right now here i am talking about the food chain which is present in the uh, basically in the environment so you can see here in this diagram what you can see that student over here in this diagram see the first diagram what is the first diagram you can see that over here yeah what is this here you can see the grass okay the first diagram which is uh, given to you that is the grass correct so grass it is green in color it can prepare its own food am i right so grass will prepare its own food with the help of the photosynthesis on grass who is dependent on the grass who is dependent on the grass who is eating food for from the grass yeah the second number you can see that over here grasshopper can you see the grasshopper over here so this grasshopper eats the grass as the food material correct so can i say that for grasshopper grass is the food material that means grasshopper is dependent on the grass for the food material correct now what is the third image you can see that over here the third image you can see that over here frog is there can you see this frog it is dependent upon the grasshopper frog is dependent upon the grasshopper so for frog grasshopper is the food material correct after that what which is a fourth diagram over here you can see the fourth diagram you can see that over here snake for snake frog is the food material so snake is consuming frog as the food material correct now which one is the fifth diagram you can see that over here the fifth diagram you can see that over here it is eagle so eagle is eating directly snake correct so that means what guys what you can see that over here you can see that here in this chain one animal is dependent upon other animal for the food material what you can see here in this picture one animal it is dependent upon other animal for the food material like grasshopper it is dependent upon the grass for the food material then frog is dependent upon the grasshopper for the food material snake is dependent upon the frog for the food material whereas eagle is dependent upon the snake for the food material so that means each and every animal here in this picture it is food for other animal correct so whatever picture it is displayed in front of you it is one type of chain and this type of chain uh, who is displaying that one animal is the food for the other animal so such kind of the chain which is available in the nature we call it as what food chain what we call it as what food chain understood now what is the meaning of food chain student so what we have learned so far here in this picture grass grasshopper then frog snake eagle is a food for the next one correct that is why we say that they form one chain such chain we call it as what food chain each of these components in the chain it is a food chain got it now what do you mean by food chain exactly so what is the definition of the food chain students repeat after me it's very important the definition of the food chain food chain it is a series of organism food chain is a series of organism who eat one another who eat one another to transfer the energy and the nutrition to transfer what guys to transfer energy and the nutrients to transfer energy and nutrient from one to the next so this we call it as what food chain so what do you mean by food chain i hope so you must have understood that very well so depending upon the food chain i have displayed one picture in front of you that picture you have to decide and you have to guess the correct sequence over here okay now can you observe this picture very carefully student what do you can see here in this first picture any guesses what you can see now here in this picture we have to 
uh, find out the missing link certain kind of question will come for your mock test as well as for your unit test as well okay so be ready for such kind of questions there will be you know a diagram or picture will be displayed in front of you from the picture you have to identify the name of the animals name of the organism or what is the missing link which is there okay so such kind of questions might come for your objective exam as well so what is the missing link before finding out the missing links let's find out what is the first diagram which is given over here what is the first diagram you can see that over here the first diagram which we can see that over here we can see that the first diagram which is given over here that is nothing but what student here it's caterpillar the first diagram is what caterpillar and second diagram we don't know you have to guess that what is the first second diagram third diagram third picture what you can see that can you guess that which is a picture yeah very good the third picture which is displayed here that is owl correct the third picture it is owl and the first picture it is a caterpillar now that means what the caterpillar is food for some other animal and that some other animal it is a food for the owl and we have to identify what is the missing link which is given in that so any guesses student what will be the missing link who eats the caterpillar and uh, who uh, on whom the owl will eat okay so the missing link which is given in this picture here you can see that here in this diagram that is the small bird can you see here the small bird which is displayed over here so this small bird so this small bird it eats on the caterpillar the for the that small bird caterpillar is the food and this for owl that small bird is the food so missing link which is present here in this type of the food chain it is a small bird who eats the caterpillar got it children so this type of the picture diagrams uh, identify will come for your exam now for your understanding we'll do one more practice that you will understand that in better way let's see that here now what you can see here in this diagram students you have to identify the name of the diagram over here the first image which is given to you that is grass the second image you have to find out that such diagram will be given in front of you to your exam and such uh, three options will be displayed in front of you so from the three option you have to guess the correct sequence of the food chain which animal is dependent upon the which animal so you can see that over in this picture option a it is given deer grass and lion option b it is given grass lion and deer option c it is given grass deer and the lion so now you have to identify which one is correct who is dependent upon whom and who is dependent upon whom now tell me student deer grass and lion grass will eat the deer no lion will eat the grass no so option a can't be the right option so option a is wrong correct now grass will be eaten by the lion no deer will eat the lion no so ultimately the option b will be also wrong we can't consider that after that option c grass will be eaten by deer yes it will be eaten by the deer because deer is the herbivorous after that deer will be eaten by lion yes of course because it is carnivorous so what is the correct sequence for this the correct sequence is the c so if you feel that from option a b c c is the right option so whatever screen will be displayed in front of you you have to click on the right option in this way so whatever option you will click that will be selected as your answer understood now students so these are the kind of questions which will be there for your exam i hope so you must have understood what kind of questions will be there for your exam after that what you can see that student over here here in this picture yeah you can see many animals no so many animals are interconnected together and here in this picture you can see that one animal it is food for many animals like for example you can see that plants plant is a food for many animals likewise you can see that deer is the animal for many animal here in this picture you can see that even frog mouse rabbit small bird they are food for many type of the animal so especially these small animals they are food for the you know carnivorous animal for the big big animal so here in this picture what you can see that the many animals are connected together so here in this picture you can see that many food chains are connected together so here in this picture as many food chain are connected together 
we call this type of the uh, web formation call it as what food web what we call it as food web so what is a basically food web student when many food chain are joined together when many food chain in the environment join together they form what food web so what is the basically meaning of food web students so repeat the definition of the food web a food web is formed by interlinking of many food chains so one living thing can be part of the number of food chain that gives rise to the food web in the nature so the food web is formed by the interlinking of many food chain understood now students what is the meaning of food web and all that thing okay so i hope so you must have clear with the idea of what kind of the images will be there for your exam and what kind of options will be there okay so again i wish you a very all the best for your unit test exam bye take care